Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen and ladies, today we're going to talk about inflammation. And uh, I didn't have a clue what inflammation was other than when you get a cut or you twist your ankle, it gets inflamed. But uh, when I used to go to my doctor, Dr. Davis, who became my health coach, he talked to me about inflammation. And I don't have any of that. What are you talking about? But that's what we're going to find out, why it's important. I didn't have a clue what he was talking about until I actually read uh, on element 20 uh, in the, the Your Life book that goes along with the Habits of Health book by Dr. Ray. And uh, that's when I found out about the inflation, inflammation and how important it is as far as your health is concerned. Important to know about. So let's get into this. These dominoes best illustrate how important it is to know about inflammation. As you can see, inflammation is the first domino that starts a chain reaction. And 80% uh, of the diseases we have, some of them are listed here, are come from being overweight and obese, and uh, that's what causes inflammation. We're going to get it more into that. Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson is the co-founder of Optivia, and he talks about in his Habits of Health book, that the uh, immune system is like an emergency service. It's always handy, but it also has a darker side. So we're going to get into that. Now these are the six micro habits that are important as far as health is concerned. If you're using all six of these, then uh, you build up the anti-inflammatories in, in your body. Uh, when you're eating healthy and you're drinking uh, healthy, uh, clean water, have healthy motion, have healthy sleep. Uh, this helps with a healthy mind and a healthy surrounding. When you all these things work together, uh, then your, your body has a better chance to build up anti-inflammatory. On the other hand, if there's some things that you're not doing, like you're not sleeping very well, or uh, you're not moving your body very much, then uh, these uh, in inflammations could come into your body and then that's when the problem starts. This slide illustrates the source of, of uh, inflammation. Uh, the first one is the foods that you eat, certain ones. The second one is external environment, uh, which is chemical, sun, for example. Uh, the third one is internal environment. Uh, that's chronic infections, that's uh, sedentary lifestyle, depression. Now, these things create oxygen radicals. They're called uh, free radicals. And uh, this is what causes inflammation in your body. Uh, it has to do with the oxi oxidative stress uh, cycle. Now, these are the types of foods that uh, uh, causes inflammation in the body. Uh, first of all, it just makes sense that the higher calorie foods uh, is going to cause inflammation. Uh, refined grains, that's flours and that type of thing. Uh, simple sugars. Uh, high fructose corn syrup, we talk about that a lot. About 90% of the foods we have have high fructose corn syrup in it. And uh, that's why we talk about nutritional labels and how to learn how to read them so that uh, you can be safe from that. It's You might as well consider it a poison. Omega-6 fatty acids uh, is another one. Saturated fats, that's uh, fat from certain uh, meats. Trans fats, uh, that's the ones where they take uh, uh, a healthy oil and make it solid, like uh, Crisco, for example. And then overcooked or charred foods. Oh no, don't take away my, my barbecue. This slide il illustrates what the average American does. And you can see that uh, 10% of what uh, most people do is, is uh, uh, fruits and vegetables and that type of thing, whole grains. And then uh, dairy is the 10% and 20% meat. All the rest of this is the refined sugar, refined grains, and uh, the omega-6s, that type of thing. And this is why uh, inflammation is rampant. This is why obesity is rampant. This slide uh, talks about uh, anti-inflammatory and inflammatory uh, omega-3s and 6s. Uh, you can find this information in Dr. A's 
uh, Habit the Health book uh, under section 2.14. But he talks about the uh, different kinds of oils that, and foods that are good. Uh, the fish, what type of fish, uh, nuts, seeds, greens, soybeans, tofu, Bill likes tofu, uh, greens, which is, uh, you know, kale, spinach, collard greens, that type of thing. And he also talks about uh, polyunsaturated uh, uh, fats. Saturated fats is uh, like home, whole milk, red meat, that type of thing. And trans fats are ones that are uh, processed, so have a long shock, shelf life, like uh, uh, Crisco comes to mind. Twinkies. Twinkies will probably last forever. This shows the, the uh, cause of inflammation from the internal environment. Uh, the first one is uh, chronic infections, for example, sinus infection, that type of thing. Uh, visceral fat, that's the fat that uh, is around your organs and uh, also uh, protruding out in front of the, uh, front of the stomach, uh, a beer belly comes to mind. Uh, lack of sleep. Uh, this used to be one of the most critical things of, that I tried to work on because I could not sleep more than four or five hours a night. Uh, but I worked really hard on that and now I can. Uh, overuse of antibiotics. A couple things here that's important. One is that too many antibiotics can kill some of the healthy bacteria in your gut. And also overuse of uh, antibiotics uh, makes it where they don't work as well if you use them too much. Lack of motion, in other words, not getting enough uh, exercise. We talked about that last week. Uh, they need exercise. The ones that you can do without actually going exercising, like parking a long way from the uh, store. Uh, sedentary lifestyle, sitting on your butt, not the thing. If you're going to be sitting, I might as well stand up. Stand up and watch TV. Move around during the commercial. Uh, depression is another one. This talks about some of the things that you can do to uh, improve uh, your internal uh, situation. Yoga or uh, Tai Chi, for example. Uh, tai Chi has meditation in it. Uh, get out and about. In other words, just get out and uh, take a walk in the, in the uh, neighborhood or go out and uh, walk in a park somewhere. Go natural. Uh, treat your body. Uh, I always talk about when you get down to a healthy weight, what you're going to do. Uh, a reward for yourself rather than have a party for all your friends is to uh, treat yourself to a massage or something like that. Something that's uh, uh, very relaxing for your body. Uh, laugh a lot, and I hope we do that here. And then focus on the positives, like being able to be a part of a, a healthy community. Now I could talk for hours and hours on cause of inflammation from the external environment because I've had a lot of experience in this neighborhood. But uh, these examples are uh, chemicals and toxins, for example. Stress also is uh, a part of it. Allergens, excessive ultraviolet. Boy, I tell you that. I found out last year that you can get sunburn through a long sleeve shirt and I was a mess for about five weeks. I got that from uh, too much radiation from the sun, ultraviolet. So be careful. Make sure that the clothing you wear is uh, ultraviolet protected. Some environmental tips. First of all, lower your exposure to the different toxins. Uh, use a HEPA filter. So what actions can you take on the things that we talked about today that could help build anti-inflammatories in your body? On Wednesday night, they have uh, presentations on Zoom and uh, the Habits of Health uh, presentation and uh, transformational uh, stories. So if you'd like to know about these and uh, get a notice, text Optivia 30 to 9, 9000. And on Wednesday afternoon, you'll get a notice uh, text message uh, to remind you about that call. So uh, join us for that.
That concludes my presentation on inflammation. And so if you have any questions, this would be a really good time to ask and see if we can find some answers for you. I want to thank everybody for taking time to uh, check us out and see what's going on. Thanks.